All right, I'm Nick. Now it's been a fantastic week. If you've watched other videos, we've had a client land a sailfish. I got to land a sailfish, got a phone call in that video and went out, went out and helped a guy named Marcus land his first sailfish. It's been a great week. So hit the water early. I caught live bait. I opted to troll a hard tail initially. Uh, and it was probably four inches long. It wasn't a very big hard tail, it wasn't very small. A lot of times hard tails are hardier than cigar minnows. And if you are around a bunch of Spanish mackerel, they won't always mess with it. If they do, it won't die. I trolled that hard tail for probably an hour. I had a tuna swim right, right up from behind me, right past the hard tail. It was blowing up on some bait. I threw a jig at it. The jig ended up a little short. After that, I moved out from about 45 to 55 feet of water. Kind of just was drifting around. Really wasn't really pedaling. Just kind of surveying the area, looking to see birds, activity, something, right? Uh, didn't see much going on. I decided to switch to a hard bait. Obviously, over the past few years, it's been proven that the tuna love to eat hard baits, even when they're not eating the live bait. Uh, so I switched to pretty much this. Now, the one I actually use is actually on the water with Jamie still. Uh, this is a long cast version. You guys will see it in the video when we land a tuna. It's just a straight like eight minute video of me reeling in a tuna. Uh, it had treble hooks on it. Tied it on, fluorocarbon leader, threw it out behind me, took off pedaling. I bet you I didn't pedal that thing in the water for 10 minutes. Tuna smoked it. I didn't have the GoPro running, which is just, I just wasn't thinking about it. I was out there enjoying the morning, beautiful day, and boom, fish on. Here's the entire clip of me catching the tuna. No editing, no nothing. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, comments, leave them below. A little turtle down there. I think that. Oh, did it come off? No. Did it come off? We need to get first. There we go. Thank you. Oh, keep going. Go away from me. I want to be in reverse. Well, my son, there's a turtle beneath this, but this is not a turtle. Okay, run away from me now. Go the other direction. There's a giant school of cigar minnows underneath us. Come on, buddy, just take off. I really hope that's what I think it is. Tails and cigar middles underneath this. They're following us for a while. Sure feels like tuna. Sure feels like a tuna. Circles. Let me see. Let me see the color. I can see the lure. I saw the lure. That's my girl. 
good. All right, slow and steady. We got Blackfin right here below us. He's about to come to the guy. He's about to come to the surface right there. That's a good fish too. That's a good fish. That's what we're here for. That is a stud. That is a good fish. That's what we're out here for. Certain times of the year, when the fish are here, you just gotta be out here. There's no, nothing else you can do other than just spend time on the water. All right. There she is. All right, chill out, man, chill out. The gaff did not even do anything right there. Okay. She's hooked good though, so that's good to us. Alright. Black fin from the lynx. Everybody talked about how the lynx wasn't gonna be capable. Well in the last two days caught a selfish from it and we got this tuna right here. Uh, I would say that Lynx is more than capable. Yeah, she was hooked real good. Yeah, she was hooked real good. All right, there we go. Black fin tuna from the lynx. That's what we're talking about. Right, we'll get her bled real quick. We're gonna keep that in her. <coughs> we're gonna keep her between our legs. Alright, 
done. Now I don't have fish bag, so I gotta call Jamie and go put this in his fish bag. We'll be right back. Gonna look at her. Oh yeah.